Hey, YouTube made the key. Uh, so, this week here at Grand Canyon, it, uh, we are having our annual star party. Uh, that's the event I talked about a little bit in the, um, in the Night Skies video. Um, and yeah, our first it's the first week of June, so it's time for the star party. Uh, I came out here at sunset so I could at least try to catch some of the astronomers setting up their telescopes. Um, sun ought to be setting soon, probably within the next, uh, I'm going to guess about 3 minutes or so, uh, 30 to 45 minutes. So uh, here we go, I'm in the visitor center parking lot, let's go check out the star party, alright? That cord on the ground there, uh, when it gets dark, it actually lights up so that you can actually see where you're going. Uh, it still stuns, the sun is still out, so um, it's not quite lit up yet. So it looks like we've got quite a crowd out already. Um, I'm gonna guess that they are currently looking for plan uh, planets near the sun, uh, such as Venus and uh, mostly Venus. Uh, Venus you should be able to see at this time of day. Um, uh, maybe Mercury if you're lucky. As you can see, there are all types of telescopes here, from the ultra-professional to the homemade. This looks mostly homemade. Yes. Ah, yeah. Okay. So the uh, the tube itself is just a concrete form, like a so you're pouring concrete for a post or something. Mm -hmm. And then the uh, the most delicate piece is just the, the main mirror. Okay. And then uh, you can see down here we've got enough light. Yep. That the light just flies down there. Then we've got a secondary mirror here that. Kicks it up at a 45 degree angle with the eyepiece. Okay. And the rest of it just all just hold, hold those bits together. You can see that one's an open version. Uh, so he has the same logic. There's a big mirror which is currently uh, protected by that, that uh, piece of decorative art. Uh -huh. uh, but the same idea, it shoots it back up to a secondary that then kicks it over to an eyepiece. But it's uh, exactly the same logic. Okay. Thank you.
what I just saw. This is actually a very, very welcoming attitude uh, that that all of the astronomers around here will, also, will generally have. Um, and they allow pretty much anyone with uh, telescopes of all types, interests of all types, anything like that. Um, now most of the telescopes I showed were mostly high-end um, because a lot of these guys get serious about their astronomy um, and therefore they spend hundreds of dollars on their telescopes. Um, however, there you don't necessarily need to bring high-powered uh, uh, telescope around here as well. It's, it's just a very welcoming attitude. We're all excited to try and see whatever we can see around here, whether it's Jupiter, Ring Nebula, Horsehead Nebula, uh, Pluto. Well, we're probably not going to see Pluto, but uh, Jupiter. Jupiter and Saturn are very big draws. Um, many and a lot of times uh, we'll also see other uh, galaxies around here. Uh, many of these telescopes are powerful enough to do that. Uh, sometimes you may even be looking at Mars or the Moon, even. And um, all in all, this is a great place to be if you just want to get a, uh, a, a good look at some of the celestial bodies that you may not get to see where you actually live yourself. Um, and I believe that that's actually one of the great things about this event, is that even if you don't have a telescope, you can come here to the Grand Canyon Star Party and see all sorts of bodies. Um, now, just be aware that they're not necessarily going to look like they do in the books because um, most of those are artist renditions um, or, or uh, flybys. All the good pictures are usually flybys with telescopes or um, artist, artist made pictures. So you're actually going to be looking at the celestial body itself as it looks through a telescope. Um, so some things may look a little fuzzy, such as Saturn will be smaller than you expect. Um, you're probably not going to be able to see the, the red spot of Jupiter. Um, so just be aware of that. Um, and yeah, definitely come by here anytime. This is always going to always on the first week of June, the first full week of June, um, because it starts on the first weekend of June and then ends on the second weekend of June. And it's all week, whether it is uh, uh, clear or cloudy. Um, now, fortunately, this area it does not generally rain at the, be uh, at the beginning of June, so we haven't really had that problem where uh, there's there's rain coming down. Uh, at least not since I've been here, um, and that's been in the past three years. Um, so this is actually very wonderful place to be. We're actually getting to sunset right now. Everything's starting to get dark. I would love to take, if I could, if I had night vision or something, I would love to take some video, show you what it looks like here at night. Um, you're, if you come here, you're generally only going to be, if you come here, you're generally only going to be uh, uh, seeing red lights at night. Um, that is because regular lights are banned. Uh, uh, at the star party and that is because they are way too bright and they disrupt uh, it's a form of light pollution uh, which is why you wouldn't be able to you wouldn't actually be able to see anything if you had a lot of flashlights shining about so instead they're dimmer less harsh red lights that a lot of people will have um, and, they'll, and they will use that to look through their tele uh, look and make adjustments to their telescopes or anything or try to see where they're going or anything like that um, so yeah here we go we sun is starting to set it is about to get dark soon if i could show you what it looks like here at night i would be more than glad to um, but unfortunately i cannot <laughs> I don't believe there's there's not much of there aren't really many cameras that can capture a uh, very expensive camera with very fancy settings uh, you would be able to, to actually catch some of the things that happen here at night um, yeah we are all starting to come out now all right so here we go here goes the Grand Canyon Star Party of 2016.
So until next time, everyone, this is Major G signing out. Be excellent to one another and party on, dudes. Yeah.